Oh, you know what that music means. It's time for the Dish on Wisconsin Supper Clubs. Local Fives look at our state's age-old tradition and the people who keep it alive. Tonight, I follow the smell of roasted chicken with a sight of polka. If you venture out to Moxie's in Casco, make sure you bring your appetite. People tell us we have the best roasted chicken in the state. A sense of humor. We're a supper club atmosphere at casual dining, but it was too many letters to put on the side, so I put fine dining. And your dancing shoes, if you dare. Tradition and home cooking make this supper club a gathering place since 1973, when Joanne Delabro took over with her husband, whose nickname, Moxie, came from his baseball playing days. You might catch Moxie stopping by on occasion, but Joanne is definitely here daily to help her son, Doug, who owns it now, with preparing their specialties. As I'm getting older, and I have to go for my physical, and the doctor keeps telling me, the reason you're feeling so good is because you're staying busy. You're not sitting. And you have your beer once in a while. And from time to time, she might just dish about their secret to their popular chicken. Well, see, you marinate your chicken. There's a lot of places now that handle roasted chicken. But if they don't marinate it the way they're supposed to, it's not as good. I'm a people pleaser. Through the years, Moxie's has paid great attention to what its customers want, and many times that includes sharing in the customs of their ancestors. That is, after all, how Father's Day polka began. And the Wednesday night trout boil in the summer. Customer says, do you ever do a trout boil? I says, no, but I will. So we started last year. We did three of them, sold everyone out. For this, Doug brings in a local kid who's a rewinder at MCC Label Company in Algoma by day. But he dreams about owning his own place and looks forward to sharing with the community what his family passed down to him. It's been through about four generations now. It was just passed down through my dad, through his granddad, from his great granddad. It's all about family and celebrating a tradition that is uniquely Wisconsin. I don't think a lot of people from out of state understand supper clubs and old fashions and uh, and they don't understand the supper world like we do. New people can learn. Although Doug tries to make out-of-towners feel welcome with his Chicago Cubs decorations, make no mistake, come football season, this is Packers territory. Go ahead, wonder with the rest of us why there's carpet on the ceiling of the bar. This is a supper club with character that's full of characters, including me, who still waits for the day when I'll meet Moxie himself. <laughs> what a great excuse to come on back. Try us for the first time or come back and try us for the first time again. <laughs> Moxie's is truly a gathering spot for the community. In fact, you can find the names on display of all the winners of the annual softball tournament that's held every year in memory of Casco war hero Dean Apichka. Sure, supper club hours usually end at 9, but one night I was there a little later, and sure enough, Doug himself slipped into the kitchen to rustle up some grub for a family that was coming in late. You can sample all of our supper club features by going to our website at wearegreenbay.com.